Hey whores, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little different. I don't think I've done one of these on my channel so far, but this is one of my clients. This is her birthday set. Um, she is a Scorpio. Scorpio season is over, so we're changing them up. And she actually is starting a new job, so we are going short. So right here, I'm just trying to see um, exactly where she wants to go. And she was looking at my nails and asking me what number of mine was. I have a one. So yeah, sadly we went down from like a five to a one Jurassic jump, jump scare exactly. But yeah, um, so yeah, she was cool with the one. Well, actually, I showed her two first to see. Um, she looked at it and then she was like, "Yeah, just go ahead and give me the one." So um, unfortunately, <laughs> we went down as far as you can go over here, anyways. So yeah, we went down to a one, so she has some little nubbies. Um, for these these ring fingers, I'm gonna cut them down again. Um, I couldn't cut them down as much as I wanted to because um, of the rhinestone glue that's still on there. Um, it wouldn't let my tip cut grow all the way back, so we'll cut them down after I file them down some. Um, this set was fun to do though. It was it was a vibe, and she always comes with the vibes for her nails, so. <laughs> y'all gonna see what we come up with just because they're short don't mean they're boring so yeah anyways we're gonna go ahead in with our five and one um medium grit from panna i'm gonna try the coarse one to see if i like that one better i love this one by the way but i'm gonna see if i like that one better like if it debulks a little faster but i don't have a problem with this one i just use it at a very high speed um usually like around 16 rpms um but i do take the bulk down and i'm going to um get rid of any lifting that she may have and for this set i took down a lot of the bulk because you know we went from a five to a one literally from long to short the shortest that it'll go so um you want to make sure that you get rid of a lot of that acrylic just because the strength that you needed with the long nails you don't need it with the short nails so and that's why we're going to go ahead and take down as much as we can the nails look really thin after i'm done but um you know it'll be okay because we're gonna fill them in anyways but yeah just make sure you take down some of that bulk because you do not want no bulky short nails Also, guys, you don't have to do soft ups all the time um this is for my fellow nail ticks if you feel like just because you know the client wants to change their nails drastically it doesn't mean that you have to do a soak off i'd rather not do a soak off just because if we're doing the same steps um the soak off is just an added one so even if we were to just go down you would cut them down as low as you could um then you would debulk the nail then you would put it in the acetone to soak them so rather than doing the soak off i'm just going to do this part and her nails are in great condition um she barely had any lifting any lifting we were able to get off of her nail plate um and yeah, the set is gonna turn out great. So yeah, don't feel like you always have to soak off. I know some people don't like to do fills, but honestly, I don't see the problem. I don't know, but we can talk about it in the comments if y'all want to. Um, why do you or do you not do soak offs? I mean, not soak offs, what am I talking about? Why, or, or soak offs, some people don't like to do soak offs actually. But as a nail tech, why do you prefer or prefer not to do fills? what is the reason behind it um because everybody is different everybody has their preferences but for me personally i just feel like i don't want to add the extra if i don't have to like i'll suck some nails off but most of the time if my clients aren't doing anything drastic like i hate for um a person to come to me and they be like they want to soak off and they're literally just getting the same base color back put back on their nails they're not changing the shape or anything they're like i just want some new nails and i'm just like girl why why do you want to put all that work and money out? Because you know you have to pay for a soak off and all that. We're going to put in all this extra time. I just educate them and tell them why I would recommend doing a fill and just changing what they want rather than doing, you know, the whole process over or whatever. Um, so, yeah, just educate your clients. But, yeah, answer my question, guys, in the comments. Why or why not to do fills? Now, I can see the difference in doing a fill over somebody else's work, which I do now. I didn't used to, but I, I do um, foreign fills now, which is just doing work over somebody else. 
Um, I personally don't mind it anymore, but the kicker is I'm gonna you're gonna pay full price for it. Like I charge full price for foreign fields just because I have no idea what I'm getting into. No idea. Um, some people don't like to do foreign soak offs because if somebody else did the work, you know, sometimes in chop shops, I'm not liking anybody who works in one, but just realistically in chop shops, sometimes they do use MMA. A lot of them do because it's cheaper. It is illegal acrylic. You're not supposed to use it. Um, it's banned in all 50 states, but some people still do use it. So I don't like to do a soak off, and you know it's gonna take forever because that that MMA acrylic um, monomer does not want to come off. It does not. Now I rather do a fill over somebody uh, somebody else's work rather than a soak off. Being that if I'm doing a fill, I'm just you know correcting it i'm just taking off the product um that needs to be taken off i am debulking um getting rid of any lifting and then i am going on top of it and you know i feel like as long as um you know what to do it's okay to do foreign uh feels sorry y'all this this um wording is killing me but yeah as long as you know what to do because i feel like if you are a licensed nail tech <laughs> and my girls know if you are a licensed nail tech you don't have no choice now before i was licensed you know i felt like i could do what i wanted to do i was like hey no i don't do other people's work because you know you'd be like something happened now you mad at me but it could have been a tech before me but you know <laughs> per school um we realized that if anything is wrong you're supposed to fix it because now it's your set so if there's any lifting get rid of it um if something is broken fix it you know etc um so now it is the ball is in your court so you are responsible for the set so yeah i just want to get into that a little bit with you guys um to see why or why not you guys do what you do or don't do what you don't do you know but yeah i don't mind it but like i said it's gonna be full price just because if i start doing your nails and half of them lifted up and the other half got a whole bunch lifted on it girl that's a lot and i'm and i'm you know that's just about talking to your client like hey this is a lot going on um it's a lot pretty much i'd rather just soak them off because they're halfway on now that you know is when we're gonna bring out the soak off card but yeah, um, I'm talking y'all ear off today. I do apologize for the inconvenience. But I do want to get um, a little bit more serious about my channel. I want to talk to you guys more. I want you guys to tell me your opinions. I'll tell you mine. We have our own little community going here because we're a nail whores. Whether you like doing nails or you like looking at nails get done, we are all in this together. Um, so you guys already know the drill. If you know, if you don't. I'm going to tell you again anyways. We're going to use our 150 grit sanding band to go ahead and take off any more lifting that I might have missed. Because I I don't be trying to do too much with the um, carbide bit because you don't want it to touch the natural nail. But anyways, um, I'm going to take off any um, lifting that I skipped over to do with this sanding band. And we're going to get rid of... Um, all the shine off of her nails any oils get rid of that cuticle and i also push the cuticle back with my sanding band i used to do it with a pusher but now since i've learned how to do it correctly with just the sanding band i do it that way because it's easier and faster but yeah and also if i haven't well if you don't know i'll tell you again if you know you know um because i'll be repeating my stuff in my videos but everybody doesn't watch every video you know so it's cool so um I do use 150 grit sanding band. Some people would recommend this to not be used on a natural nail. Well, I mean, it can be used on a natural nail either way it go. But some people, you know, they like 180 grit, which I understand. I like 180 grit. I used to, I used to adore 180 grit. But when I started using 150, I feel like it was better. It's still, you know, on the, um, I was gonna say soft, not the soft side. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more on the um it's not coarse you know what i'm saying like 150 is literally a jump up from 180 and 180 i feel like that's the smooth nail i don't know y'all this is my philosophy you can tell me yours but um with 180 i feel like it's just smoothing the nail out and i don't want the nail to be smooth you want the nail to be a little quote unquote roughed up we don't like that term in school but you know you can't put no i'm sorry for my double negatives i'm from the south this is how we talk but we know correct grammar but anyway we choose not to <laughs> anyways but that's another story i rather use 150 because it is quote unquote roughing up the nail plate or 
etching is the correct term the nail plate rather than 180 because 180 i feel like it's smoothing it out now 180 is a grid that i will use on the nails after i've laid the acrylic because i want the you know i want the um, foundation to be smooth for a polished application that is what i would use 180 for now 150 i feel like that is you know so i can have better adhesion yeah yeah that's it that's all i'll be back <laughs> All right, y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and switch over to our ball bed. Um, this is just to push the um, hyponychium, my bad, eponychium, wrong one. The, the, you know, the part that everybody says is a cuticle, that's not really the cuticle. That's what we're doing because if I, I don't do this on everybody, and I don't do it every time. But if I see that your cuticles need a little work, I will go ahead and do it. So the ball does not go on the natural nail. It is just on the skin which is the eponychium so um we're pretty much just trying to push everything up so that we can see what needs to be cut um so you can see like the little white the little white pieces that are sticking up that is cuticle that came off of the nail plate and now i am pushing it back some more so that i can see it a little better so that i can get rid of it and then we're gonna cut it with our cuticle numbers um so yeah if you, just a little you know then you guys know and sometimes if your tech doesn't do it because some people I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you since the russian manicure stuff has um you know came out and everybody's doing it now some people do do this to every person every step like you know every um every set i mean um they do do this now so i i used to i ain't gonna lie but i realized that you don't need to every time like a lot of the times there's nothing there to cut and you can't cut what's not there you know especially if you have clients see look you see how i skipped over that pinky i didn't see nothing so i i didn't cut it because a lot of people they will like pretty much force cut so you're trying to cut any little thing because um and i just it, that that ring finger right there that's gonna that's gonna come off um but yeah you don't have to cut stuff if you don't see it because that means if you don't see it it's probably nothing to cut so a lot of people do overcut if you ask me they cut live skin and then you know that could be another issue it can cause infections we don't want nobody to be bleeding anyways um all type of stuff so we just try to do what's necessary and not do too much you know so now we're cleansing the nail with the um, mix that I make. You guys know I do have acetone, have alcohol equal parts. The alcohol is usually like 70% is the one I use. Um, but this is just to dry the nail plate out. I do use this as dehydrator and I use it as nail cleanser. So you will see me use it twice. Um, I usually do it twice on every set. Um, I do it before I um, lay the put the nail, the net, well, put the you know the tip on um to make sure that it sticks correctly and then i'm also going to use it before i apply um the acrylic and i did go ahead and cut her natural nail down because let me tell y'all something i know sometimes our clients be wanting to keep their natural nail you know they'd be like oh i'm just gonna grow them out now if they want to grow them out and they're telling me because you know they want to grow them out to get an overlay i would definitely do that I have no problem with it but the thing that happens most of the time is when you you know keep the client's natural nail and then you put a tip on top of it that nail is already there and it's growing okay so when it's short you know it got a little bit more time but when it's already grown out when the natural nail is already grown out the natural nail curves the more it grows so if the nail is already long you put a tip on it and then it continues to grow while they have the set on by the time they come back in that in that two to three week time frame i promise you their nails are starting to curve away from the tip or the acrylic it happens every single time 
and then um, that leads to the nails lifting because you know it is separating it's growing away from me and if you're like me I do pick mine if I see it separating I will start to keep to pick at it and which is going to make the nail last even shorter because you're picking at it you're separating it it you know things get under there water is getting under there. all type of things are getting under there and it is going to mess with the adhesion and then you're gonna wonder why your nails popping out yeah that's it so i'm sorry y'all i'm talking a lot today but i guess i'm in a good mood <laughs> And I am trying to get all these voiceovers done because I got so many videos backed up that I need to get out to you guys. So, right now, um, we are using our Young Nail system. This is the system I use now. I love it. I always like the Young Nails, but since I started using it all together and buying items in bulk, I feel like I have been doing myself a disservice this whole time. Because, girl, why would you not using the whole system? And not only that, why were you buying stuff like rationing like i don't know it is definitely easier and um more affordable to buy in bulk guys so now you can't tell me nothing so i use the um protein bun for the uh primer we are using clear on her today and this is the speed clear <laughs> i know i know yeah, we had to have a moment of silence because I was not a speed girly. But baby, now I guess I done got a little a little couple of notches on my belt. I have to use the speed because the other one just drives too slow for me now and I want all of them to be speed. Young nails, if you watching this, make all of the cover powders in a speed um, formulation please. Because I feel like I done got faster and I feel like the speed one makes me work faster. So I begin it. But anyways, and I use that monomer as well. Um, so yeah.
all right after we are done with our application um we are going to go ahead and start hand filing with our 8080 grit from panel this is the zebra one i get them from amazon um usually it's like 25 50 of them i break them in half so i'm really getting 100 for 25 so yeah can't beat that all right and once we've done our hand filing we're going to go in with our e-file with the extra fine grit um or extra fine whatever it's the extra fine um carbide bit from panel i get to amazon and honestly this is not it, it's giving a five in one shape um it is a tapered barrel i think is what it's called but it, it's shaped like a five in one and i love this uh bit it, it gets the job done i don't have to do anything after i don't buff i don't tough i don't do none of that shit i'm <laughs> just playing <laughs> <laughs> let me stop playing with y'all but no i don't buff i just uh do this and i, I don't boom that's it nail smooth as butter but um to be honest y'all these are kind of sharp so this is not giving a five and one this is giving like you know the regular barrel bits where you gotta be careful um over time it does the sharpness does wear off a little bit so i haven't been cutting anybody or nothing but i ain't gonna lie when I first got it, it was sharp, and I cut myself. I ain't lying to you, and that stuff hurt. So, yeah, just please be careful if you get one of these. Um, if I can find one that's like a safety bit, um, I will definitely try it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find one for my, um, for my beginner girlies because, yeah, you don't want to be cutting nobody. We all been there, done it. I'm pretty sure everybody done cut somebody before, but yeah, um, just try not to.
touch that fire for you. I do that three more times again. I testify for you. I told her like you, that bitch. I do it all that I'm around. You scared to do I'm not. As long as you joking, now it for me. I ain't got it. I've been skimming, looting. I your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better under you. I can lose when I'm with you. How can us lose and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody do fighting like you do. I can lose when I'm with you. I can just lose and miss the moment. You just too important. Nobody do fighting like you do. In the top tie ride with you, I feel like Scarface. Get that white bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one. Let's take this argument back up to my place. Sex from my you, I'm not violent on you, day one. We had shit, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab shit, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. I'll be growing, you're not here. I'm saying, I can't lose when I'm there. All right, so now we are getting to the fun part. Um, we are going to use this 7 by d and I think it's 705. Yeah, 705. Um, and then we're going to use some black from Beatles. We're going to use a nude from Amita off of Amazon. I can never remember which one is which because they don't really come with numbers. Um, like, it say the number when you order it, but when you get it, um, it has no number on it. So, yeah. We love that. Um, but yeah, she showed me a couple of different pictures. We mixed them together. Um, we usually just kind of, you know, make up stuff as we go. Um, so you are going to see me stop. And um, I thought I was done, but we weren't done. She wanted to add some more stuff, um, which I should have known knowing her. But yeah, uh, we always have a good time. But yeah, I keep doing that because I saw some lint on the, um, there you go. I say I had saw some lint and ooh, baby, don't get me started with the lint. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna let you guys watch me do the um, the nail art because, like I said, we stopped, started, we were just making up stuff as we went. She kept showing me different pictures on her phone, so we just went from there. Um, but yeah, you guys enjoyed that, um, and I'll be back. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a hassle. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew. No, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh. I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils too. Here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school. Wife and I, you broke with clothes, cooking dinner too. Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pink Griffey too. 
It's only right that I swing by and hit it too. First base, second base, third base. I'm trying to get you in your birthday. Oh, I know these other niggas thirsty, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me. You feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Girl, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so much to live for, true, baby. Well, let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got.
All right, y'all, so right here, I do have a book with all of my charms in it. You can't see the other side right now, but I was trying to make sure I was finna pick up the right charm out of the box um, that she was showing me that she wanted in the book. Um, so yeah, I was just comparing it, so. Seem to take a step out, get some air now, that's so edge out. To some ice poke, you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need grass now, got me bummed out. You're so, you're so, you're baby, baby, baby. Causing all my empty mindset. I try to keep on losing the best of me. I will be that I wasted the best of me Oh, yeah, baby, you don't care Sometimes when I be a nuisance, it's just urgent Trying to make some some little change Got me a war in my mind Gotta let go away, think he was holding me To the right, but it will pick up the fire of me all right y'all so this is one of the parts where i thought we were finished so i did go ahead and top cut with my kubu um shiny top coat but i am gonna go back through um do some more art and then i'm gonna top coat again um oil her up and then we'll be back for the finished results so you guys know it'll be at the end of the video um as always but um i think i'm done talking for today or for this video so um always i appreciate you guys um but like comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see in the future um and yeah bye
popping All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your face Focus on me. Can you focus on? 